Another clean shot. I thought we missed him. I thought it went over him. Sweet. Uh, the red knot is one of several arctic breeding migrant shorebirds. Uh, these birds are amazing in that they, they breed far in the arctic and this species in particular can winter as far away as, uh, as the southern tip of South America. So we first started working with red knots uh, back in 2009. There was a major concern about decline in the population, particularly in the Atlantic Flyway. Uh, that was attributable probably to several factors, uh, possibly an issue in Tierra del Fuego, which was their southern wintering grounds, as well as an important spring stopover in Delaware Bay. At that time, very little was known about the occurrence of red knots across the northern gulf, though we knew from surveys and uh, birding reports that the, that red knots were quite abundant in the fall and, as, and in the spring as well. We began trapping birds on the beaches of the Gulf Coast, uh, particularly in, on Padre Island and Mustang Island, Texas, and started deploying some small devices called geolocators. Trapping red knots is uh, quite a challenge in that, uh, especially on the beach, we have to first find birds, uh, get a handle for what they're doing and what direction they might be inclined to move, uh, rapidly make a decision on where we're going to set up a, this cannon net and get it in place and hope we can move birds into that catch area. The net we use most frequently now is a modified version of the large, much larger cannon net. It's called a box net and it was developed by Larry Niles in order to capture small numbers of birds or to specifically target individual birds such as those carrying geolocators. It's a much smaller net. The process is to find a spot, dig a shallow depression, set the net and stake the back and run a wire back to back to a hiding spot. We stay in communication through radios so that the person on the beach making the call for uh, firing the net is in communication with the person with the uh, controls to fire it. Once the net goes off Everybody on the, on the team runs to the net and begins the process of extracting the birds from the net so that we can put them in safe keeping cages until we can process them. The purpose of this project was to figure out where birds were actually spending the winter. We knew they were on the beaches in the fall and in the spring, so by, by deploying and recovering these geolocators on birds, we hope to find out the wintering grounds. When a species in, is in decline like this, it's important that we take notice because the sites that these birds depend on are, are, also, uh, are also sites that we depend on. It might seem uh, strange to think that uh, a little shorebird that doesn't resemble us or utilize the world in the same way we do at all um, is actually depending on the system. It's an important component of the system and if it's declining then there's probably a problem that is going to affect us in some way or another.